Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. For families who want to create lasting memories on the water on a carefree and low maintenance platform, we'll be taking a look at the Carolina Skiff 21 LS. Carolina Skiff had taken one of their proven winners and brought it into the 21st century and man, did it make a difference. For anglers that desire solid offshore capability, trailer ability, and attention to detail, we'll be looking at the Stewart Boat Works 23. This is not an assembly line production boat. This is a custom quality boat and it shows all over the boat. And for the avid fishermen and their families who love adventure beyond the docks without sacrificing comfort, we'll be taking a look at the Carolina Skiff 26 Ultra Elite. This 26 model is actually Carolina Skiff flagship and she really lived up to that Ultra Elite name. All coming up on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Guys, can you believe it's the last episode of the season? Has this been fun this year, watching the evolution of boats? It's been a great year for us, Rick. And you know what? I mean, I had a lot of fun this year, and we got stretched out later into the season here for a couple of boats that we're waiting to see. And both of the boats that we're going to talk about this week are the Carolinas, Jeff said. We didn't even actually film them until late, late, late in the season. George, you and I couldn't figure out why they waited so long. They kept promising us a surprise. Let me tell you, I took a look at that 21. It is completely new. It's not like any 21 Carolina skiff you and I've seen before. Absolutely. We're also going to look at a boat from Stewart Boatworks. They're 23 footer and this model is a tricked out custom built boat that you're really going to enjoy. We also had the pleasure of the Carolina skiff 26 Ultra Elite and she was a beauty. She was decked out and I can't wait to show our viewers all three boats for the week. Man, we got a great show. We got three great boats. Let's get on the water. When we return, our hosts take a look at a rugged boat designed for inshore fishability and making family memories on the water. The Carolina Skiff 21 LS. But first, let's join FS Boating Editor George Labonte as he joins Captain Skip Dana to discuss the advantages of the Yamaha Helm Master System in this week's seminar segment. Yamaha's engineering department is taking great lengths to bring their Helm Master technology outside of just a docking arena and bring it into the fishing arena. We're here today with Skip Dana. Skip is a veteran charter fisherman and tournament fisherman, also a member of Yamaha's Pro Team. Skip, if you would, tell me a little bit about how the Helm Master is useful outside of the docking arena. The stay point, I like personally when we're on a bottom spot, the conditions are perfect and uh, you don't have to throw an anchor. And you can kind of stay there, especially if you're kind of bottom, you know, you're bouncing bottom spots. You can stop, fish for a little bit. If they're near, it's not there, move on to the next spot. I, I personally do a lot of, uh, you know, when we're tournament fishing, we're kite fishing. So I really like the drift point is, is one of my favorite things. You can set that and you can carry that drift. It'll, it'll keep you in a certain spot or a certain depth and it's highly effective. And I personally like the, the Helm Master when we're moving on fish. A lot of times the fish will be 10 or 15 feet off our bow or to our right. And it's very easy for me to hit the, hit the set point button and spin the boat because the boat will spin on its axis and it goes right to the fish. Well, it's sure done a great job holding us in position here today, absolutely. Listen, if you haven't seen the Hellmaster in action, you owe it to yourself to get to a dealer that's got some boats with it on there or go to a boat show and demo it. See this thing work for yourself in person. You won't be disappointed. This segment brought to you by Navionics. Escape the ordinary. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they take a closer look at the Carolina Skiff 21 LS. Representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category, the Carolina Skiff 21 LS has an overall length of 21 feet 2 inches, a beam of 8 feet, 
and a max horsepower rating of 150. Designed for hunting fish inshore and transporting the entire family in comfort, she has a draft of four to six inches, a dead rise of 10 degrees, a dry weight of 2,069 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 30 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Three words come to mind when I see Carolina Skiff, guys. That's durable, versatile, and affordable, which I love. Well, as a family, you've, you've got to. And this boat is built for a family to be part of it. Not the centerpiece of it, but just to be part of their entertainment. And they've done a great job with it. You know what, Carolina Skiff has done a great job at a lot of things. And over the years, they've really evolved into a different kind of company. They're building boats for everybody from the starter boat, the old J-Series kind of boats, all the way up to their Elite Series boats. And this boat represents a great, right there in the middle of the pack, you know, option for the family that wants to get in a boating. And what a finished boat. For a Carolina Skiff, I mean, I get more and more impressed every time I get on one of these boats. Ah, oh, well, let's get on this one and get on the water, because I really want to see how it's going to do. You know, when I stepped on the Carolina Skiff 21 LS, I had that feeling I'd been there before, and sure enough, I had. Carolina Skiff had taken one of their proven winners and brought it into the 21st century, and man, did it make a difference. One theme that kept coming up throughout the day was evolution, and we talked about it at length throughout the day. A few years back, Carolina Skiff set out to improve the ride of the boat, and that started with their DLV line. The DLV line took the standard utility flat bottom and turned it into a tri-V hull, is what they called it. And they're gonna keep the width of the boat for stability, but they're adding a little bit of V, and that bottom shape really improved the ride of these Carolina Skiffs. Now, in 2019, 2020, they've taken it a step further. They've taken that tri-V hull bottom, and they've added a lot more comfort to the top sides. We have the 21 LS that we rode on today. This boat has got a liner. It's finished a lot nicer. It's just a much more improved style of boat. When you look at the boat, you see a lot more finished work than you did on any Carolina skiff in the past. If your lifestyle consists of just being on the river, I couldn't think of a more perfect boat. This boat is great for fishing. You can pull it up to the sandbar so easily. And what I love to do, which we don't ever really talk about, is just cruising. Cruising around the river, finding new places. This boat drafts really shallow. It's perfect for getting in and out of the mangroves and just exploring new area. One of the best ideas they ever came out with for a center console is the flip bolster. You can sit with it as a backrest while you're running. As Soon as you start fishing, just slide it forward and you've got a backrest while you're facing aft. They've kept that and I was really glad to see it. They also put a set of nice rod holders alongside the console, even combing bolsters. They've got storage up in the front casting deck and plenty of room for two, maybe even three people to fish and then go aft and you find the same thing. You've got jump seats, but you fold them down and you've got a massive casting platform back there. This boat takes a lot of people easier than any 21 footer you want to see. If you want to get your whole family on the water, the Carolina Skiff 21 LS is a great way to do it. I always find it convenient when the cooler is actually removable. Today that we had a 70 quart cooler under the helm seating, which again, I love, especially being the one that I pack the boat. I can pack the cooler at home, throw it up there and be done. Stirred in seating today, you had two flip up seats with cup holders. Again, very nice to ride out. Rick and I sat back there today. We were both really comfortable. They did something else I really liked with this. Where the aft jump seats are, right in between them is a big round live well. It looks like it's got plenty of circulation to me. I think it would keep plenty of live baits alive for you all day long. Carolina skiffs since day one have been known for being stable. Anytime you've got a boat with that kind of beam and that kind of length, you've got one that sits in the water very well while you're fishing. They haven't lost any of that. All they've done is taken their great DLV hull, one of the best riding hulls they've had in a 21 footer, and brought it into the LS model. It is a refined version of a great classic. All right, guys. You know, I, I do enjoy my time on the water with you, but I really wanted to kick both of you guys off today and go pick up my family. <laughs> Seriously, I had a great time on this boat today, and all I kept thinking about is if my boys were here and my husband and how much fun we would have on the river and doing all the things that we love, this boat would accommodate all of it. We got to know this hull is the 21 DLV, remember? Sure. But it wasn't lined, it was, we didn't have combing bolsters, it wasn't gorgeous. It's been so much fun to watch Carolina Skiff evolve 
this 21 LS is gonna be a knockout for them. Buddy, you took the words right out of my mouth. Listen, if this is evolution and that's the direction it's going for Carolina Skiff, I like it. When we return, our hosts examine a boat that incorporates top-notch fit and finish in a proven offshore fishing package, the Stewart Boat Works 23. This segment brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. An entirely new species of extreme predator is moving offshore. The Yamaha 5.6 liter V8 XTO offshore outboard. Extreme big block thrust and power in the industry's first direct injection four stroke. Quiet, efficient, powerful, and proven Yamaha reliability. More than an outboard, it's a fully integrated power system. The all new Yamaha V8 XTO Offshore. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they take a closer look at the Stewart Boat Works 23. Representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category, the Stewart Boat Works 23 has an overall length of 23 feet 3 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 350. Built for a soft, stable ride in offshore conditions, she has a draft of 14 inches, a dead rise of 17 degrees, a dry weight of 3,200 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 100 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. George Rick, I'm so excited to be on the Stewart Boat Works 23 today. First off, walking up, I thought it was bigger than a 23. Look how wide and clean this boat is. I'm excited to be on it today. George, a, a boat's supposed to have a lot of years on it before it's called a classic, right? You look back at all, doesn't this boat have that feel? I mean, you look at the pod, you look at the lines, and it's like they've grabbed the lines off of so many great boats and molded it into this 23. This is a gorgeous machine. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's got a lot of custom boat style and a lot of kind of traditional look to it. I've admired these boats from afar for a long time. You know, I've never ridden on a Stewart Boat Works boat, either one, the 23 or the 27. I'm really excited to see what you can do. It's real windy today. We're gonna have some conditions to test ride in. I'm really stoked. Yes, you're right, the wind is cranking. It ain't the sailfish day we hoped for, but it's plenty of day to see what this boat can do. Let's get started. One boat that I really enjoyed this season was this 23-footer from Stewart Boatworth. It's a really classic design built with a lot of quality features. And, you know, it's a boat that's going to be familiar to South Florida boaters because it looks like a lot of boats that we've seen in the Bahamas if you've been there. Well, Stewart Boatworks is a version of that boat. It's a boat that's got the Bahamian skiff style, but it's also got beautiful South Florida custom boatwork quality. You know, the unique hull design, the bottom of this boat is really set up unlike a lot of boats that you see, especially center consoles nowadays. This boat is more like a displacement hull that runs really fast. The bow never pops up, you never lose visibility. It's like an instant on-plane design where the hull actually lifts out of the water and stays level and all of a sudden you're just up on plane. This is a fully resin-infused hull and all the components, the deck, the liner, the cover, the hull, everything is bonded together from the rub rail down to the water line this boat is really built solid. It's all held together and it's gonna give you a ride that feels like you're in a boat that's made out of one solid piece of material. Now, one of the advantages you're gonna find with a boat like the Stewart 23 is the customization factor. Every last little minute detail on this boat is gonna be attended to. You're gonna be looking at a finished product that somebody took every single thing that you want into consideration. This is not an assembly line production boat. This is a custom quality boat and it shows all over the boat. Let's talk about tackle storage. They've got it up on the console, they've got it back on the live well, they have got tackle storage all over that boat. You could load it up to do four or five different kinds of fishing and you'd never run out of room to put your gear. A fisherman will know that the best place to put a live well is at the calmest place on the boat because you don't want your bait to get jostled around. On the Stewart Boat Works, that was behind the helm. They had a round live well, which is my favorite design and they had it plumbed so it had a lot of output and an easy overflow to keep your baits fresh. We could have kept live baits in there all day with no issue. The forward seating, I'm the last one to like the wraparound seating in the bow, but in the 23 Stewart Boat Works, it worked. It wasn't so wide that you had to lean too far over to gaff a fish. It gave you plenty of room to sit and it was exactly the right height to where you didn't feel like you were sitting up too high on the boat. Under the bow seating, you've got storage on both sides, and whether you want to use it for a fish box or storage, you can. 
Now, seeing that this is a custom boat, you can do whatever you want. If you don't want those seats there, you don't have to have them. You can actually do a coffin box if you want to. You also have an insulated box under the seat at the console, which was great. Today we used it for a cooler. I actually sat there for a little bit today, and I love a cup holder, and you had a cup holder on each side. I finally figured out why this boat feels so much bigger than a 23. It had high gunnels, a closed transom, a lot of room to walk around. It was a very clean, laid out boat. Guys, I can't believe our day is already over. I was so comfortable on the boat today. I loved everything about it from sitting up here at the bow to the storage. I need more time though. I said I see the old world charm of the Bahama style boat and the new modern technology built into that. And that is exactly what we got today. This boat did not disappoint. You know, it really combined a lot of that historical looking boat with very modern technology and the finish work on the boat, Rick. I mean, come on, does it get any better than this? No, it doesn't. But George, in the Bahamas, their boats are their cars. You understand what I'm saying? Hop in the boat, we gotta go to the grocery store. There's a reason why they laid these boats out the way they did and built them the way they did. When have we ridden on a 23-foot center console boat the road better than this one? I can't think of a time. I mean, it's absolutely that soft ride, that little round bottom. I mean, there's just so much to like about it. Listen, if you're in the market for some old world charm and some space age technology, the Stewart Boatworks 23 definitely needs to be in your wheelhouse. When we come back, our hosts step aboard a boat designed to excel while offshore fishing and when entertaining the whole family. The Carolina Skiff 26 Ultra Elite. This segment brought to you by Suzuki, the ultimate outboard motor. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they check out the Carolina Skiff 26 Ultra Elite. Representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category, the Carolina Skiff 26 Ultra Elite has an overall length of 26 feet, a beam of eight feet, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Engineered to safely and comfortably accommodate multiple passengers in a variety of conditions, she has a draft of 9 inches, a dead rise of 14 degrees, a dry weight of 3,734 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 78 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. George, Rick, today we're on the Carolina Skiff 26 Ultra Elite on this chilly morning, and I'm excited to see what this boat has to offer. It's their new flagship. Absolutely. I mean, it's a new boat for 2020 for Carolina Skiff, and we're in some unfamiliar territory. This is a place that we've never done any boating before, and we've got a little bit of discovery, a little bit of kind of exploring around to do. Uh, it's kind of a chilly day here, but what do you say we get after it? we got a full day ahead of us. Let's get it. The second Carolina Skiff we saw this year was the 26 Ultra Elite. And as I said earlier, we saw both of these boats on the same day, so we had a lot to compare about the two boats. Now, the theme that kept coming up, once again, evolution. This boat takes it to the next level. The 26 Ultra Elite is a boat that is going to get you offshore, which is something that Carolina Skiffs aren't really known for. And when I say offshore, I mean blue water fishing. Of all the Carolina Skiffs I've ever had the opportunity to run, this boat was by far the nicest riding of them all. Now that's not just because it's a 26 foot boat, their biggest, it's just a nice design of a hull. This boat is made to go offshore in some chop. The day we ran it, it was blowing 25 miles an hour and the boat handled it perfectly fine. I mean, I have no problem taking this boat offshore. I guarantee it'd be up to the task. Now Carolina Skiff built its legacy on boats you can fish from. Not the 26 Ultra Elite. It is a boat built to fish. And believe me, there's a difference. A great live well. Not only is it round and under the rocket launcher, it even had handles on the back for the guys that are riding the stern to hold on to. Coleman bolsters on the side and rod holders everywhere you look. This was truly a fishing boat. Now something that stood out to me at the dock before I even jumped aboard the 26 footer was the console was placed further forward than you normally see on a center console boat. It actually opened up the cockpit quite a bit. 
it added a ton of room for fishing in the back, which is what this boat was designed to do. You've got that forward seating in the front, but the back of the boat, I see this boat with outriggers, offshore fishing for dolphin or sailfish, and you've got a lot of room to move around there in the back of the boat, and I think that's a really smart idea for them. I was a little concerned about how the boat was gonna ride because the console was set so far forward. You think you might be exposed to a little bit more chop with the hull bouncing up and down, but this was not the case at all with this boat. Carolina Skiff was smart. They kept what built the company, a lot of real estate per square foot on that boat. There was plenty of room to use. There's casting platforms on the bow and on the stern. You could also put seating on the bow and on the stern. They kept what made them famous and then added a whole lot of amenities to make the 26 Ultra Elite a flagship for the Carolina Skiff line. The bow seating area today, I absolutely loved. You had removable cushions, but what I loved about it is the space. Full layout area. So if you want to lay out and get some sun, or if you've got kids who all like to be up the bow and hang out, it was really comfortable and I loved those cushions. They really utilize the space in the console area. You can actually open up the door in the front of the console and set up a curtain that provides a lot more room. I really like the certain seating on this boat. There's three separate flip-up seats. You didn't have to do one whole bench and take away that room. You could actually separate it. And the best part, every seat had a cup holder. So when we talk about lifestyle of a boat, this boat really does have a couple different lifestyles. When all the seats are down and you're ready to go fishing for the day, this boat is designed to go fishing. It has all the fishing features you need. But let's say you're not fishing and it's family day. Let's say you want to bring more than just mom and the kids. Let's say you got grandparents and friends. Believe it or not, you can fit 18 people on this boat. I don't want 18 people on my boat, but that just goes to show you how well they utilize the space on this 26 Ultra Elite. So I figured out what Ultra Elite series means. Go ahead. It's like the Cadillac, you get the extra features. You got the comfort features, they put everything on this boat that I've never seen on a Carolina skiff before, even starting right here. Well, let's tell it like it is. I mean, if the three of us ever dreamed that we would be this comfortable and ride this nice in a Carolina skiff. There's a reason why it's called the Ultra Elite. You guys know Carolina skiff has a new slogan. It's family fun fishing. And I gotta tell you, this 26 Ultra Elite does all that. Well guys, that, as they say, is a wrap. What a great season we've had, and I've had a lot of fun spending the summer with you both, man. I'm really looking forward to next year. Hey, if you've seen any boats this season that you're interested in and you want more information about, visit us at floridasportsman.com. Rick George, I can't thank you enough for having me on the season this year. I can't wait for next year and the boats, and I'm looking forward to it, but I'm sad it's over. I can't wait for next season. Boats get better every year, so we'll see you on next year's edition of Florida Sportsman Best Boat.